Hi everybody, my name's Pete. I'm the jazz man on Street Cart, and I thought it would take a couple of laps around the Dubai course to talk about cart handling and driving techniques. We're going to wait for the third light to come on before we hit the accelerator. If you hit the accelerator before that light comes on, you'll get a penalty and your start will be delayed. Okay, third light is on and we're accelerating and we run into the first chicane. You'll notice the cart accelerates very slowly. These carts do not have transmissions at these levels, and so it's important to try to keep your engine RPMs as high as you possibly can. If you look at the tachometer, you'll see that there are some icons outside and inside. Inside, you'll see the, one to, the green one to the left, that's your gas. Now at this level, we're giving you unlimited gas, so that's not an issue, but during a real race, you will be able to see your gas levels drop, and yes, you can run out of fuel. And let me tell you, it's very frustrating when you do that. On the right-hand side is one that shows your tire condition. Again, we're maintaining your tire condition here so you can run as many laps as you want, but in a normal race, that will degrade, and your turn performance will degrade along with it. At one point, it will go yellow, and it will even go red if you go far enough. Outside, you'll see an X, which will abandon the race. In most cases, I do not encourage you to do that because you'll incur a DNF penalty. At the upper right is a megaphone, which will call the marshal to put you back on the track if you come off, and I'll demonstrate that later. And at the lower right, you'll see a wrench. That will allow you to change the sensitivity. You may find the cart being a little sluggish. You can boost your sensitivity if that's the case. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the course. We're in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. It's very hot and dry here. There's sand on the outside, and in some cases on the course, it can be a little bit slippery. Stay out of the sand, and in general, stay between the white lines. That's the best guidance. Each track has its own idiosyncrasies, but as you're getting started, it makes a lot of sense to stay between the two white lines. Next thing I'm going to talk about is braking. We've toned the braking down here in Cadets, so you can't get in too much trouble. But it's important you don't stand on the brakes. So when I come into a turn, I just tap, 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 tap very quickly. If you hold it for more than, say, a quarter of a second, at the higher levels, you will almost certainly induce a spin. You'll notice I try to keep my steering wheel very still and smooth. Being smooth is really helpful and will help keep your speed up. We're coming into a very difficult chicane at high speeds. There was a small black shadow on the right-hand wall. I use that as my trigger to when to make the turn in. But it, as you go faster and faster, it becomes more and more difficult. I'm going to demonstrate what happens if you do go off the course. So we'll go through the sweeper, and then I'm going to carry a little too much speed into this sharp left hand. Oops, I'm off, I hit the wall, I've lost control of the cart, and I'm into the sand. <clears throat> now what I do is I hit the megaphone, as you can see the, the little pointer talking to, and that will put me back on the course. Normally takes about six or seven seconds. Notice how slowly the cart comes up to speed once I hit the accelerator again. It's very important. Try to keep your RPMs, in cadets, try to keep it like seven, 8,000 RPM. That's where you'll get your best performance. Okay, so let's talk about the specifics of Dubai. We're about to enter the straight that goes to the start line. The green zone you see on the left, that's a runout zone. It's okay, you have some attraction there. Here you saw the dark shadow that triggers my turn in for the chicane. Notice that I try to stay to the left for the right hand turn. In general, you wanna make all your turns as wide as a radius as you possibly can. That will allow you to keep your speed up. Tighter turns mean slower speed. During this uh, right-hand sweeper, I try to stay pretty much on the curb. Again, these are two difficult turns right here at high speed. It's very easy to slide off to the right. The very difficult chicane, this is a difficult part of the course. Try to stay as close to the right-hand wall there as you can. Start your turn in early. I'm actually a little bit late on this one. And we turn back toward the start. Street card is difficult. There are no assists. It's really a simulator, not a game, and it emphasizes skill. You'll be up against difficult and fast opponents, 
both in live races and in AI, and you'll have to learn the different courses and carts in order to succeed. But if you keep at it, you'll definitely get better. We'll be putting out more videos in the future, and we'll be certainly accepting any questions that you have. Good luck, and I hope that you do well in your street cart career.